Hello again everybody, this is Mr. Everything and I'm coming at you with a, another computer game first impression. This is a War Thunder. War Thunder um, is my alternative to World of Warplanes. I was playing World of Warplanes beta and it was just, it had just a little bit lacking for me. I mean there was, uh, it was all pre-war planes and post-war planes and there was nothing really World War II of it. I mean, they had a couple of airplanes from World War II, but it was mostly pre-war and late war. So, um, I saw that War Thunder has gone to open beta, and so I logged in, and this is what I've got. Uh, I've only been, I've only played like maybe five or six matches, and uh, I've actually picked up the F2A1 Buffalo, and that's what you're looking at right here. It's a beautiful plane. Um, eventually I'll progress on to other planes but just to kind of compare um, World War planes to uh, War Thunder I know I hate to do that but I'm gonna compare these two games because they're pretty similar actually they're both free to play you can buy gold or credits to uh, expand or enhance your airplanes your um, and and buy better and new planes. Um, you have a multiple nationalities like America, Germany, Russia, British, and Japanese. Now you have um, you have a shop where you can spend real money, and then you've got your menu items and your game modes. Something um, I like about the game modes are you have uh, tutorial missions you can actually fly tutorial missions and learn a bit a little bit about how to fly your airplane um, these are the tutorial missions that I've finished some I have not finished uh, there's also world war and tournaments which is grayed out for me I don't know if that means it hasn't been released yet because this is still an open beta or if uh, I don't have it unlocked yet because there is a lot of things in the game that you actually as you play you can unlock okay and then you also have missions uh, that you can play with your friends and what have you and then you have a variety of different controls you can play this with a joystick yaw controls you can play this with a mouse a variety of different controls to play this with and uh, I don't know if you can see this right here ace of the month uh, it looks like this is a player and uh, or there I don't know what this is I'm assuming this is a player that's played the game and he is doing extremely well so he gets uh, he is the ace of the month and this is what his bonus is a times five for the first victory or they're just giving him a celebration or something I don't know what that is yet remember this is my first impressions now look at the background uh, doesn't that look Okay, I broke it up. It doesn't. Okay, right here it doesn't look like that. But when it was, when it was spinning around and it was looking very realistic in the back, if not realistic, it looked like a model kit or something. I'm I'm extremely impressed with the graphics. I do not have this on very high, I or maximum. I just have this on high. Um, you could crank it up to maximum. Uh, they have this thing called movie quality and if you click it on movie quality it'll just enhance great and they say don't use that unless you're like taking screenshots okay um, now it took me a long time to figure out it's still I'm still having to figure out things in this game and I really didn't know how to launch the game well there's the button right there obviously but it wasn't there when I first started when I first started I had planes I had to choose I had to pull the plane up I had to access it I had to I had to check it out in the hangar. Okay, we're in the hangar now. Um, but there, by going into the hangar, I can add decals to the side of my plane if I wanted to. Okay, where'd it go? See, I could put that on my tail if I wanted to, or I could uh, put it on a wing if I wanted to. You know, I can put decals on my plane. Uh, it'll help identify who I am or whatever. Okay, well, I'm not adding any decals. And the camouflage, I can't change. It's on default. This is uh, an old Navy U.S. plane um, just at the start of the war. 
Okay, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and fly some and see what we get. Let's go ahead and get out of that. And let's go to battle. All right, I'm just going to splice this in. I've been waiting. If you look down here, I've been waiting a good amount of time, three minutes before a match would launch. I'm, I am apparently waiting for this battle 137, um, waiting for the session. It says here the average wait time is 2.30 for the U.S. Uh, each nation has a different wait time based on like how many planes are, are actually playing. Like if you were to play Germany, you wouldn't have the same kind of wait time that our Americans have. Because there's more of us, they gotta spread us out. I guess I don't know. But if you notice, there is a lot of Americans playing. So if you and there's a lot, a lot of uh, there was a long wait time for the British too, extremely long. But looks like the Germans cycle through really quick. That's an advantage to play the Germans right there. Okay, so we're still waiting, and uh, that's a disadvantage of this game is that you do have to wait. All right, we are joining a match. You notice you get this little movie in the very beginning. Tells you what you're supposed to do. It says Japanese force trying to evacuate Guadalcanal. U.S. forces mistook actions of Japanese troops for another landing attempt. Destroy enemy planes and ground vehicles. Bomb out the enemy base. So far, that's the only type of mission I've been in. Um, these are historical missions. I've chosen historical because I uh, because of the maps and everything and the, where the players start. Um, there, it looks like they're on the other side of Sabo Island. And we start down here by Lake Wallacan. Our mission is to destroy the enemy's ground equipment and bases. It looks like we might be coming off of a carrier. Our base is under attack. We must repel the attackers. All right. Now it says respawn right here. Okay, we're loading. Okay, take it off. Check this out. Look at the water. Beautiful water. I think the graphics, they, they've outdone themselves on the graphics. There's a P26. I'm at 100% throttle. Notice in the upper left hand corner, you've got your speed, your altimeter, and you've got your throttle. I'm going to back that off a little bit. I'm in the air. I back it off to about 80. Yeah, 81 looks good. Um, now, the controls, look at this. That's my rudder. That's my ailerons. And then you got your elevators, right? Well, I'm going to fire. Um, I'm going to follow Floor and Z. I guess he's going towards the enemy. Way off in the distance, you can see the A. That's target A. There should be a target B out there somewhere. But I also see um, their base. A is probably the uh, boats. Um, we've got it like a score on the bottom left. Uh, the, uh, we're trying to defend the friendlies that want to destroy the enemies. Right? We also have a, uh, a pretty good ping on us. That's pretty good. We're at like 45, uh, 44 point something FPS. I'm happy with that. Um, I ha have been playing earlier today at 90. Um, they have really good. They have a really good uh, FPS for the game, and that was with higher graphics. I actually lowered the graphics, anticipating uh, the filming to uh, require lower uh, graphic settings. Remember, this is only on high, not very high, or movie quality. Okay. Uh, some things you'll notice. Well, first of all, in historical missions, you get one life. When you get shot down, you're done, right? So don't get shot down. You can switch into the cockpit, right? So you can so you can fly from within the cockpit if you prefer. It's a different type of an experience. You can fly with a virtual cockpit. It's also a different type of an experience. Oh, we got enemy aircraft over there. A couple of them. Okay, that's cool. Are they chasing him? I should have been at gaining altitude. There's 
Okay. Let me go ahead and throttle up a little bit. Let's go to military engine. Now, just like World of Warplanes, you don't want to use military engines all the time because it will burn up your engine. And then you will be SOL. Okay, what are you saying? 170 kph is not uh, stall speed? Okay. That's a good name, Flying Monkey. I didn't target any of the bad guys. I'm just going to go close in on my friends. <clears throat> okay, now while you're flying, you can use your mouse to look around if you prefer. Uh, these guys are not closing on me. They're dog fighting over on the right. I probably should be over dog fighting more. What do you think? That's good. It's a little less uh, kitty. I consider the World of Warplanes to be a little more kiddified, or, or not childish, but just simplified for the uh, younger generation. <clears throat> Ooh, A5, M4. Zooming past me. Okay, who wants to do it? Now, look at this. Blacking out. I'm blacking out. Overload, 60s, 70s. Take too many Gs, you will pass out, and the plane's wings will rip off. Bad news. Okay, what I'm trying... Oh, I think I might be taking fire. Oh, this guy could possibly chase, and so is that. So let's see... If I can turn without passing out. Fast. But that's what the problem is. Throttle them down. Ooh. I hit him. So now, now that I've hit him, if he crashes, I get a kill. Oh, that's a cool wing. He's got a cool looking wing. I'm impressed with it. Okay, thanks. Yeah, my wing screwed. That's right. Oh no, I can't. My arms are busted. That's too far away. See, now I even have L arm busted. Means I can't fly or turn the way I want to. There you go. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, I know, dude. Oh, no, 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 going in. <laughs> and there it is. He got the kill. I never said I was any good. Actually, I am pretty sucky at this game so far. I have to learn how to play it. Uh, what's cool? Uh, you can observe your friends. Let's get to, man, a lot of people playing the uh, default panes. That is the default plane. And you can hide the hood. Okay, look at that. He's going. He's not, that's not good. I wouldn't want to be that pilot. <laughs> okay, let's. Hard. What's that? Let's see what he's doing. Okay, that's that's flak for you right there. That's serious flak. Not like some other games I'm talking about. Where does buddies go? So my first impression of War Thunder is it still needs a little bit of work but it is way ahead of World Warplanes. It's more of a simulation more of a simulator and less of a game. 
Um, I, I really like it a lot. I'm very happy with what uh, what we're seeing here. All right, we got two planes going in. Let's see what they can do. I bet you don't see bombs. I don't see any bombs. Are they going to shoot? Are they going to shoot? Or is that friendly? That might be our fr friendly fleet. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed this little last little movie at the end. Uh, I am going to do some more videos, maybe do some uh, reviews of each of the planes, and when I get to know how to play this game a little bit better, um, I'll give you some tutorials or something like that. All right. Well, thanks for coming out and checking out this video, and when I see you on the field, have some fun.